Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong, and the following is an excerpt from my newest course, Unleash the Power of Your Sony Alpha. Our full course offers nearly five hours of video instruction with topics instantly accessible with our new sidebar navigation tool. No more endless scrolling. And you'll love this. You'll get a PDF of all of the menu items listed by tab, page, and line number, and then cross-reference for fast locating in alphabetical order. Visit us at sonyalphacourses.com. Okay, now let's go to your tip. Starting with the green auto mode, Intelligent Auto gives you all of the control to your camera. It's great when you're in a pinch or when you don't really know what you should be doing and need the camera to take over. You will not be able to change any settings such as shutter speed, aperture, or even ISO. When I press halfway down on the shutter and focus, on the top left corner you'll see the icon of a person. The camera noticed that I'm focusing on a person and has automatically adjusted the settings accordingly. If I put my remote in front of the lens and focus, the camera suddenly switches to macro. And if I point the camera outside towards the lake, you can see the camera switches automatically to landscape mode. In Intelligent Auto Mode, we can change our Drive Mode, Flash Mode, Focus Mode, and Focus Area, as well as Face Recognition. Notice the options that are grayed out. You can't change the shutter speed. You can't change the aperture or ISO. You can't change the exposure override, as well as the white balance or creative style. Those are settings that are controlled by the camera in Intelligent Auto Mode. Superior Auto Mode. You may have noticed when switching to Auto Mode, there are two modes to choose from. Intelligent Auto and Superior Auto. Intelligent Auto is best suited for daylight shooting environments or moving subjects where Superior Auto is designed to take a rapid burst of images and then composite them together and sandwich them into one image for the best result. This composite of burst images will automatically correct image noise or backlight issues. Superior Auto will produce much better results in low light compared to Intelligent Auto, but because Superior Auto captures a burst of images and then combines them together, this mode is best suited when your camera and subject are not moving. So when you're in a pinch and don't have the time to set your camera manually, the camera's auto modes produce fantastic results. Just remember, Intelligent Auto is for moving subjects such as capturing a child at a soccer game, and Superior Auto is for stationary subjects in low light such as landscape or night photography.